In this video, I'm going to add hats to players based on their team. So I'm going to have two different teams. They're going to have team colors, and their hats are going to match their team colors. So if they die, they're going to get their hat back, back too. So I'm on home right here. Go to model. Go to advanced. And let's add our team. So hit, our, hit your services button right here. And then teams. So we're going to add our team service. It showed up down here in the explorer. Click on the plus sign, add a team. Click this plus sign again, add another team. Let's call this team red. And we'll make the team color red. We'll make it really red. This team white. And the team color is already white. So we have our two teams. Let's make a, a hat. And I'm gonna make a top hat because I can make those kind of quickly. So I'll just add a part, a cylinder. And this is going to be the top part of the top hat. So I'll say top. I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to change the orientation 90 degrees on the Z. Then I'm going to change the size down in the bottom 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.5. I'm going to drag it out of the world. And I'm going to make sure collisions is off. I'm going to control D, it copies in place. I'm going to move the second part down. I'm going to call this rim. And I'll change that size. That one will make 0 0.3 by 3 by 3. Turn collisions back on. Bump it up into the top part of the hat. Now, I need this to be inside accessory. I'm going to make a model out of the, these two parts. So I'm going to control click the other part that's not selected. So I have my top and my rim selected, right click, and then group them. Now that they're grouped, I'm going to call this hat. All right, let's add, uh, let's uh, add a weld constraint so they don't fall apart. So weld constraint, click on weld constraint, go to part zero, click the rim, part one, click the top, and now it'll stick together. So we need to put this into an accessory so we can wear it. So go to your workspace, hit the plus sign, hit A, add an accessory, and call the accessory red hat. Now take your hat, move it into the red hat accessory. So, oh, we need a handle. Let's go ahead and turn collisions off, add a block, and I'm going to call this handle. I'm going to add that to the red hat accessory. It's on the same level as the hat now. I want the handle to be lined up with the rim, pretty much so. So I'm just going to get the position of the rim. Let me see, where's my position? Right here. Control C. Click on handle. Go to the position. And there we go. Control V. That, I, that way I didn't have to line anything up. So this is going to be my handle. Let's make it really small. I'll say 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.2. And pull it out of the hat a little bit. Just pull it down so that your hair is not poking through the rim. That'll make the hat sit a little higher. Good. Now we have to actually weld this to the rim. So let's go to our red hat accessory. And we'll put a weld constraint there. And that weld constraint, part zero, will be the handle. Part one will be the rim. Now everything's stuck together. Now in the handle, add an attachment. So this attachment, if we call it hat attachment, when we add it to the humanoid, it will find the hat attachment on your player. So you have to spell it the same or this won't work. The hat will fall off. Uh, or may, uh, probably it'll probably error. I don't, I don't even know. We can test it. So we got a red hat. That's cool. Let's control D to copy it. Let's call this white hat. And we'll change the colors inside the hat. The rim and the top. Go ahead and select brick color. I'll make it institutional white. That's close enough to white. And now we have a white hat and a red hat. Close those two. Select both. Control select the second one. Drag it down to server storage. 
right now they're in server storage now when we enter the game they'll be ready for us to distribute so go to server script service add a script and this script i'm going to call add hats add hats all right now we need our server storage so game is that get service server storage let's make a function called player added and the player will get passed in and i'm going to do player character added connect i'm going to use an anonymous function because i need the player from player added so i'll do char then we'll make a variable for our hat just initialize it to nil for now so if player team name equals equals two equals for comparison white then say hat equals one equal for assignment ss for server storage wait for child and what i call that white hat white hat oh, oh there we go that's it oh we got to clone it we don't want to lose we don't want to lose our only hat when we go to grab it nice all right else if player oh i gotta slow down a little bit I'm messing up team name equals equals red then let's just copy all of this control c get rid of that h control v just make this red looking good there we go so now we have a hat a cloned hat from our server storage let's get the humanoid char a little wait for child humanoid and when we get the humanoid we can add accessory just add the hat now when the player enters the game we'll say game players player added connect player added so we're going to connect the player added event from the teams uh, from the player service to this player added function and we're going to be good to go all right let's try it let's go ahead and hit play yeah good we got a hat nice all right let's try it with our under our test server with more than one player i'm going to hit start and then i'm going to pause the video because it takes a little bit to start up all right i have my two players in the world they each have their own color hat let's kill one and then see if it when when the player respawns if it has its hat so go to your workspace and we'll do player two player two humanoid scroll down to health make it zero Ugh, that'll kill him and here he comes back any second now and he's got his hat on let's look at the player one's perspective there, here's player one yep and he has a hat so it's looking good all right well let me know if you have any questions i think um this one worked pretty good it's uh we had no problems anyway well good luck